everybody. Thank you for tuning in. PLO Professor here. Got a couple of housekeeping issues and then we're going to dive into today's lesson, which is going to be ace to five low ball and how it's differently played than deuce to seven, for example. I've already covered deuce to seven uh, triple draw and I covered badoogie, which is also another draw game. Now I'm going to cover ace to five low ball. And then in the next part of the series, we're going to go into Bidusi and Bidasi, cover all the draw games as possible. But first, housekeeping. If you want to play with yours truly, I'm going to be in the Chicago area. We have locations now. So on September 16th, uh, which is a Saturday, starting at 1 o'clock, we are going to be doing a meetup game at the King's Hall in Chicago on Lombard. And then on Sunday, on September 17th, we were at Downer Groves before. We're going to be at Downer Groves again at the American Legion. It's a great place to play. Uh, and again, we're going to do a 2-5 round by round PLO 4 and Big O mix. And we're also going to include a small blind jackpot game. If you guys aren't familiar with that, it's something that I think every game should absolutely have. It changes the dynamics of the game entirely. If you've never played with a small blind jackpot, what it is is you put $10 on the button. The only person who's allowed to win it is the small blind. If the small blind wins the pot, they win whatever is on the button. If they don't win the pot, when the button moves, the next person who's on the button adds $10 to that and so on and so forth, and it continues. Generally, a couple times throughout the day, throughout the meetup game, the small blind jackpot will be over $100. So what it does is it entices the small blind to essentially call uh, with a wider variety of hands. So it makes it for a very interesting game. I wish they did this in every Hold'em game as well, but we're going to be doing it at both Big O and in PLO4, and if you're curious, yes, in Big O, you have to scoop in order to win the small blind jackpot, but it's super fun, brings in a lot more action. You already have me who's gonna be there, who's gonna be pretty action heavy as my VPIP on Big O is somewhere around the 70 percentile range. So hopefully you guys can come out. We look forward to having a lot of fun with you guys. Uh, typically in the meetup games, I buy everybody a round of drinks, and there's usually like pizza and some other stuff. So come on out, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, again, round by round PLO4, and then round by round Big O. So uh, it's a $200 to $1,000 buy-in, and then afterwards we're going to do a 75% match the stack. So if somebody does have $2,000 in front of them, you can buy in for $1,500, but the men buy-in is $200. We do have a good variety of people who buy in at different levels. Now, diving right into today's episode, we're going to cover Ace to Five, which is also known as Low Ball. And we're doing this for a couple different reasons. One, it's in the dealer mix games. Two, it's a draw game. Typically, it's limit. And three, it also goes into some dealer choice games for some bracelet events and things like that. Now, I know what some of you are saying. Professor, professor, isn't ace to five low ball the same as deuce to seven? Just instead of seven, five being the nuts, the wheel is the nuts? Uh, I mean, if you want to break it down to very simple brass tactics, sure. But the strategy is different. And the reason why particularly on ace to five low ball, is because straights and flushes don't matter. Do not matter. Do not matter. And the reason why that's important is because, as you guys know, in deuce to seven, if you have a two, three, four, five, six, that is a straight, that is a really high hand, and that is a really bad hand. In ace to five low ball, that is a really strong hand, okay? So how Ace to Five low ball works, very similar to Deuce to Seven, is you get five cards and the nuts, you guessed it, is Ace, Deuce, Three, Four, Five. Because straights don't count. You're trying to get the absolute lowest possible hand you can possibly get. So question is, is Professor, Professor, what kind of strategies do I start off with? You told us in Deuce to Seven triple draw, don't draw unless you're drawn to like an 86 or an 87. If you're in position or if the table's a little bit loose, we can pat with the nine. What do you typically pat with on uh, ace to five low ball? Because straights and flushes do not count, okay? This is a big, big difference. There's a huge difference between a 76 low and a 75 low. A 75 low is substantially stronger uh, it's probably the bare minimum that I'm going to start drawing. 
Uh, if you want a golden rule in this game, just like in Deuce to Seven Triple Draw, don't leave home without a deuce, you guessed it. The one on this one is don't leave home without an ace. Keep in mind, there's only four aces in the deck. If you have any type of draw where you have three to the wheel, whether it's ace four or five, ace deuce five, that is an incredibly strong hand. That's something you need to be coming in with a raise. It has the same betting structure as deuce to seven triple draw, uh, and it has the same betting structure as Badugi, where you have an open, and then, which is usually uh, a one big bet because you usually have a, uh, a blind and then you have a raise. So usually that in turn turns out to be one big bet and then you have one draw and then one small bet. And sometimes there's gonna be a raise there. And then you have another draw with a big bet, let's say BB, and then you have one final draw with one more big bet. Now there are situations in which you can snowball, very similar to deuce to seven. If you start off, for example, with like three aces in your hand or two aces and two deuces, anytime you start off with four wheel cards is an opportunity to snowball your opponent. Again, this is supposed to give you a guideline and you only snowball your opponents if they're willing to fold. If you're dealing with a calling station, don't try to snowball your opponent, okay? It's just the calling stations are not gonna work. So what kind of hands should you start off with? Again, if you have a 75 low, that's a good hand to start off with. I prefer to have a 75X, which means X being another low card. So 754, 75 deuce, anything like that, 75 ace, anything to that uh, point is where I'm going to be raising. If you have three to a wheel to start, even if you're out of position, that's a situation in which I'm going to raise. I'm trying to get most amount of money in there as possible. Uh, and then again, after that, it's player dependent. So I know this is gonna be a little bit of a short video, but ace to five low ball is going to be six handed, very similar to deuce to seven. If you're curious on some of the, the strategies in betting, uh, if you're playing a cash game, you can be a little bit more aggressive with your betting. If you're playing a tournament style game, you wanna be a little bit more conservative with your betting. And the reason why is because again, in a tournament setting, you can't replenish those chips where in a cash game, you can just add more chips if somebody happens to spike something. Not only that, but in a cash game, the blinds aren't increasing where the tournament games, they are. So ace of five low ball is something that's in the wheelhouse, being that hopefully you guys get a lot of wheels when you're playing this game. And the biggest difference is, is if you see an eight low and ace to five, don't get too excited about it. Even on a seven, six low, I don't get too excited about it. If I'm on a really tight table and I see people who happen to be like raising and then they always have premiums or drawing to one, usually if somebody's drawing to one, they're drawing to a 75 or a six low to start with, something to that effect. And if you are drawing to a six low and you end up with an 86, uh, again, this is very player dependent. These videos are designed to give you a basis on how to play the games, and then you just structure and make some adjustments off of that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel. Don't forget to hit the notifications. I've been doing a lot of shorts lately. I'm gonna keep doing shorts uh, because I feel like it's a way to help promote the channel. And uh, yeah, this is basically ace to five low ball. It's very similar. Now, when we get into deuce to seven, uh, Badusi and Badesi, the strategy there is quite different because those are split pot games. These games right here, you're scooping everything in one. So stay tuned and we'll post those videos coming out. Hopefully I'll see you guys in Chicago. And as always, play smart and run like a god.